Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Gemini, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Gemini, what do we have for you? What do we have for Gemini? Let's see. Cleansing, money, and we have reset, fresh, overall energy, the other woman, third party. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Gemini. <laughs> We are connecting here in this reading for you. You might be dealing with a water sign, okay? We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be the case. This is someone who can be quite materialistic. I feel that at the moment this person this person it's still kind of prioritizing their finances money professional life career we have strong third party energy here as well so for some of you, this is indeed that third party can indicate that this person prioritize money, essentially finances, career, uh, over this connection. But it's like they are trying to change it or trying to take it easy a little bit, you know, with the fresh and cleansing. It's like a fresh, new, fresh start, changing the energy here. For some of you, this is also someone who put you in a third party situation. And it feels quite strong to hear Gemini that might, they might have also uh, kind of supporting financially that third party. If that's the case, I'm getting quite strongly that this person will say that, you know, things are over between the two of you, be, between the two of them, things might be over between the two of you as well. But it's like they will reach out and they will say that things are over between the two of them. They want a fresh start with you. Hmm. Let's see. Could you please show me more about this situation? We have the other woman, the other man. Could you please show me more about this person, this situation, what's going on? Mm -hmm. So we have the justice, we have a page of wands, we have an eight of wands. You might be dealing with Libra. The moon, Pisces energy. The fool. Six of Swords, mm -hmm. the Chariot, and that Queen of Wands, that third party, Seven of Pentacles. So, Gemini, you might be dealing indeed with Libra, we have Pisces, we have Cancerian energy with the Chariot. We also have Aquarius and Aries. Yeah, this is someone here. For some of you, children might be involved in this situation. And this person has like, a, they need to provide. Or they have some sort of kind of responsibilities regarding finances here. Involving that situation. But we have the four, six of swords the chariot and the queen of wands, this person here will communicate with you and they will say that they want to have a new beginning with you and they are indeed detaching 
detaching, distancing themselves, walking away from that third party, which is that Queen of Wands, and they're moving on from that situation because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what, what these cards are showing here. It's all about moving on. I'm getting quite strongly that that Queen of Wands was chasing this person. They were the one who was, uh, who they were, they were the one who uh, were texting them a lot or kind of chasing them. This person will try to balance things out with you, Gemini, with the justice. They know that they need to do that. They need to bring truth, clarity to the situation. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is action. This is this is communication. Page of Wands, it's a message. Represents a messenger. Eight of Wands, it's back and forth exchange of, of messages like texting, chatting, you know, talking, being in touch. Also, taking action. For some of you, there might be a physical distance between the two of you. This person might be living in a different city, different state, or maybe even different country, because we have the full six of swords, chariot, eight of wands. This is all like travel, traveling. All that, I wanted to say that woman because I'm getting quite strong feminine energy, that third party, they ex or someone with whom they were involved with it's living in a in a they are living in a different uh, city and this person is kind of maybe traveling here to because there is a need for them to do that someone is living by the sea or by the lake That moon energy is doubt. It's lack of clarity. And it's like, yes, this person knows that they need to bring truth and fairness and clarity to the situation. Essentially, they need to provide you with an explanation in order to, to remove all the doubts that you might have regarding this whole dynamic. And that whole situation. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. This is someone who is invested in, in this connection with you, Gemini. But at the same time, this is someone who also has some sort of obligations here. Show me this person's feelings towards Gemini mm, yeah so we have six of Pentacles we have two of Pentacles and ace of Swords. yeah this is someone who this is the same message coming forward here. On emotional level, this person wants to communicate with you, clear the air with you. Um, Ace of Swords is that triumph of truth. This person wants to have a clear communication, like express something here, provide you with some sort of knowledge about the situation. Because, um, and I feel that they are quite stressing out over this, emotions are running really, really high. Because this person knows that they've been juggling you with another situation and they were giving also to another situation and it's like they really owes you that explanation about this whole thing knight of wands the thing here is that this person mm, it's like they know that they came that they came across as a player because i feel well of, because they put you in that kind of dynamic you know that dynamic It's like they are aware that you might seize them as a player, essentially, Gemini. Show me actions. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Gemini? Six 
seven of swords three of pentacles seven of seven of pentacles and we have the tower eight of pentacles seven of angel number seven 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 might be quite important for your situation it might be worth checking what that angel number means because there is a obviously meaning behind this frequency um you might be dealing with aries i have also scorpio yes this is someone who who will talk with you about the situation and it's like they will admit that they were at the time quite sneaky and maybe two-faced and secretive not fully transparent about the circumstances and i feel this person is like they will say to you you know i've been waiting for the right moment to tell you this but it never felt like it the moment was right or something like this but um, yeah and we have that tower which is knight of swords magician and king of swords yeah this person is going to chase you and if there is no contact situation between the two of you um they will unexpectedly reach out to you because they're trying to manifest communication and it's quite interesting right that expression someone you know one might have kind of thing well what they're trying to manifest what communication what they just need to reach out well the thing about it is that this person feels unsure if you want to talk with them and in, in it's like they're trying to manifest communication they're trying to i feel this person is trying to convince themselves that it's like they're trying to gain some sort of kind of courage to reach out to you but they're going to chase you and you will have a very very constructive communication with this person you might be dealing with virgo gemini so another gemini indeed we have aquarius as well but this person feels that they have something to say they want to talk with you and that communication will take place eight of wands eight of wands they're going to reach out eight of pentacles here suggests that this person will try to fix the situation that tower moment that might have happened in this connection show me the outcome quite intense reading three of cups Show me the outcome. Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh, and King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. I see two people being together. Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Gemini. Three of Cups, reconciliation, happiness, joy, fulfillment celebration i'm getting you know <laughs> it's just a technicality but me as a reader i need to emphasize this we have this queen of cups and king of cups right without a doubt you should have very strong connection with this person gemini and it feels like you might feel that this is your soulmate if you feel that way this is someone who feels the same way about you okay and it feels like it might be your soulmate and i see reconciliation between the two of you because three of cups is that beautiful energy of happiness joy celebration reconciliation meeting uh, together and you know celebrating good times and just being happy in each other's company so it feels like everything will be okay because it's a very positive card but there are still certain things here i feel that you will not fully agree with this person because if it was that way i see like a because the queen of cups is facing that king of cups so it's like a mutual understanding and two people kind of being okay with the situation 
in here two people being together but there is uh, I feel that there is there is a need this person will have to put more effort and work in order for you to fully kind of trust them to have this instead of this but either way I'm getting quite strongly and this is the outcome that there is a big big possibility that both of you will be together because this is a match this is a pair and three of cups is a positive energy so I'm seeing that reconciliation happening queen of pentacles and here is the thing I'm getting this is your energy Gemini and it's like pre empress energy and I feel that everything depends on you and and that experience really kind of opened your eyes especially regarding what you're expecting from from relationships in general and it's like I see you knowing exactly what you want putting yourself first um, making healthy choices you know prioritizing your well-being because you know exactly your worth and you know that you bring a lot to the table you have so much to offer so it's like you are in control here Gemini but I see indeed reconciliation and you might be dealing with the water sign Scorpio Pisces Cancer or this person has ha, have a heavy placement in, in in those signs or you have a heavy placement in your chart in in Cancer Pisces or Scorpio but you have very nice positive outcome and it might be quite you know I'm getting that energy from someone yeah well it's very very difficult for me to kind of uh, uh, I, I don't see it coming something like this but the cards this is a clear message about two people coming together and having that reconciliation I'm not suggesting that things will be immediately great between the two of you but that there are certain issues that still need to be addressed in order to have that dynamic but it doesn't mean that it cannot be achieved because a queen of pentacles also brings more uh, stability and security regarding the situation regarding this situation so it feels that within time this connection will gain more stability and I see both of you being together at the end of the day Gemini I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly truly appreciate you Gemini have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me I am sending you much much love Till next time, take care. Bye.